Hi friends, Tina Did It here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Santa coming down the chimney uh, Christmas decoration. I made this using all Dollar Tree items. I love the way it turned out so I had to share with you this was definitely fun to make. It turned out super cute and my kids love it. And I think it cost me less than $5 to make. So if you want to see how I made this, just keep on watching. To make the chimney, I'm going to use these wood planks from Dollar Tree. They come six in a pack and they have the rectangle ones and the square ones. I'm going to use four rectangle ones and one square. The rest of the planks you can use it for another DIY or make multiple chimneys if you'd like. I'm going to go in with this bright red paint by Apple Barrel and I'm going to paint all my rectangle planks red and this square one I'm going to go in with brown by Craft Smart and paint that brown. And that square plank is going to be the base. I almost forgot to mention from now on you guys I will be putting the barcode numbers down in the description. I don't want to keep showing it in a video and then you have to pause it to get the barcode so it's much easier for you to just copy and paste it out of the description box so for every item I use here I will be putting the barcode down in the description box. So if you'd like to order anything from the Dollar Tree website it's much easier to find it that way. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to set my rectangle planks side by side, make sure they're nice and straight, and now I'm going to go in with a ruler and pencil, and I'm going to create the brick look. So I'm going to go in with my ruler and make lines straight across so that way my bricks are the same size and looks nice and even all around. Now that I'm done with that step, I can now take each plank and go in with this white paint by Craftsmart and I'm going to basically just trace each line using a small paintbrush. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And now I can go in with the same white paint, same paintbrush, and make the bricks. I want to give this a realistic look, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my bricks rectangle shapes instead of squares. Um, and I'm also not going to make a straight line down, of course, because when building something or building a chimney, bricks are not perfectly aligned. So I'm going to go in with the same white paint and make my rectangle bricks. your project should look something like this. Do you see how my bricks are perfectly the same size? Well, not perfectly, but <laughs> you get the idea. Now I have this tube of coke from Dollar Tree and I'm basically just going to go across the top and bottom and create that snow look. So snow isn't perfect, so definitely go in with this tube and have fun with it. Um, make it drip a little bit if you'd like, like I made that happen here like I went down a little bit and made it as if the snow was like sliding off the chimney so definitely get creative with this and I'm also going to add some snow onto the bottom
So you can definitely add glitter to the cloak right now while it's wet, but I didn't have glitter <laughs> when I had that tube. So what I ended up doing is if, it, if that happens to you um, and the cloak dries, of course, you can go in with Mod Podge, apply some Mod Podge and sprinkle on the glitter. I wanted to add a little bit of white glitter to the snow because if you've noticed my Santa lakes are um, a bit glittery so I'm going to give this a little bit of sparkle and um, yeah why not right but you can definitely leave the snow as is you don't have to add glitter and of course I'll be sealing my glitter with another coat of Mod Podge by patting Mod Podge up on top and letting it dry I'm going to show you really quick the difference between the one with the glitter and the one without glitter just so you get an idea and you can see the difference here on the screen. So I definitely like the glitter pop so I'm going to finish all of them and also add the snow onto the bottom of the planks like I said and this time since my cloak is going to be wet I'm just going to dip it in my glitter and that way it'll be much easier if you're making lots of these maybe you want to sell them or you're just making tons of them <laughs> um, you can definitely just dip the whole plank into a bag of glitter like I'll, I'll be doing here in a minute um, it's much easier and much faster than sprinkling it on there and then pouring the extras back so it's definitely easier to have the glitter in a bag in a ziploc bag maybe and just dip the plank inside the glitter while the coke is still wet. Now that everything is dry, I can finally put it together. I'm going to go in with this Gorilla Wood Glue and I'm going to glue my rectangle planks around on the, creating like a square over my square plank. So now I'm just going to basically make my chimney. So I'm going to add the glue and just have each plank standing. But first you want to maybe take a pencil and mark where you want your rectangle planks to stand because you have to make sure this is sort of centered because I will be adding more snow around the chimney and decorations. So I'm going to have the first plank standing and I will try to add some support around it so it doesn't tip over or move around. So here I just have paint bottle and um, another decoration just for support and I'm just going to go ahead and make the rest of my chimney. Now that my chimney is completely dry, I'm going to go in one more time with the cold tube and um, fill in the little red areas in between the snow, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I'll be doing that and I'll also add some snow onto the brown plank onto the bottom of the chimney. I totally forgot to seal my glitter, so I'm going to go in with Mod Podge like I was telling you earlier. Um, I'm going to apply Mod Podge on top of the glitter using patting motion and ru not rubbing it. You don't want to rub your glitter off again. So use patting motion and that is like a seal. The glitter is not going anywhere. So remember I said I was going to add some snow onto the base down there, the square plank. So now I'm just going to go in with my cloak again and I'm going to create the snow look onto the bottom of the chimney. But this time I will not be adding glitter onto the cloak down there. I just feel like it's going to be a bit too much. But that's definitely optional. You can go ahead and add glitter down there if you'd like.
Now for Santa's leg, I picked up this sign from Dollar Tree. It says Santa stop here. I'm just going to use the legs at the bottom there. I will be saving the top part of the sign for another project. I have my Santa legs in a little angle. It's not perfectly straight. I feel like it looks better that way. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue onto the side and then glue that in place. And I will be filling the top of the chimney with cotton balls. I'm going to bring some cotton balls and pull it, stretch it a little bit, and then using hot glue, just fill the top in um, all around, even behind the Santa leg. This project was super fun to make. You could even make this with your little ones and my kids love it. You can actually see them sitting around me while making this video and I will be making a few more of these so you definitely have to give this a try. And you can add more to this. You can add the word ho 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 onto the chimney itself. I will be just adding a few presents um, later on you'll see in the video but you can definitely add more to this. Now that I'm done filling in the chimney with the cotton balls, I'm going to go in with these little mini gifts that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well. They come in a pack of like 12. I'm going to put some on the rooftop here. You can add more to this. Like I said, you can put a snowman on the rooftop. You can add the words um, ho ho ho. Just get creative and add what you'd like. Just take the idea, like I always say, and make it your own. But I'm going to add a few gifts on the side there, and that's it. Look how great this turned out, and I love the way it looks. It's definitely different. I like it, but I want to hear from you. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you think. You know, I'd love to hear from you. Would you add anything to it? Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.